everybody, Mark here at 8-Minute Axe. In this video, I'm gonna review Van Gogh's brand new 12-string, the VEG120 Pro Thin Line. That's right, I said Thin Line and 12-string. This is not just an upgrade of Van Gogh's 12-string that's been around for a few years, the one behind me. This is a brand new guitar with a price point that's aimed at beginners, but a build quality that will attract more serious players. Like all of my reviews, I'm not getting compensated for this in any way. Occasionally I get gear sent to me at no cost, but as anybody who follows the channel knows, I give away most of that gear. The main reason I'm able to do uncompensated reviews is because of this, the Rock Lock. It's the first universal quick change strap lock that's compatible with any strap and works with the original hardware of most major guitar brands. That's right, no swapping out strap buttons anymore. It easily locks on and stays on. And when you're ready to switch guitars, just squeeze the quick release triggers. It's as simple as that. I'm not a paid spokesperson for The Rock Lock. I'm the inventor. You can check it out at therocklock.com. It's a great way to support the channel and to get something that's gonna make your guitar playing life a little bit easier. Now let's get into the review. One thing I really like about Van Gogh is the fact that they're always trying to improve their instruments. I can't even count the amount of upgrades they've done to their product line. And most of these upgrades are a result of the feedback that they get from the influencers that review their guitars. When my contact at Van Gogh asked me what I would do differently if I was building a 12-string guitar, I said, in order to attract more serious players, I would do two things. I would make sure it had a solid spruce top, and I would do a better job finishing the frets. By finishing the frets, I mean rounding the edges, crowning them better. I also mentioned offhandedly that there are no thin line or small body 12 strings from entry level all the way to the four or $500 price point at least none that I'm aware of. Now, I'm pretty certain that I have little or no influence over the decisions that are made at Van Gogh, but to my surprise and excitement, they sent me a guitar with a solid spruce top, beautifully finished frets, and they even upgraded the tuners to Goto-style tuners. The best part was the fact that they made a thin line with an auditorium-sized body, but only three inches deep, making it incredibly comfortable to play. Add a bone nut and a bone saddle, as well as these abalone inlays for the fret markers and even on the headstock for the logo. I always get abalone and mother of pearl mixed up. I'm sure somebody will correct me if I misspoke. The back and sides are made of mahogany. It's got a nice onboard pickup system with an accurate tuner. I've had this guitar for a little over a month. There have been many occasions where I'm playing and I forget the fact that I'm playing a $330 guitar when I'm surrounded by three or four other 12 strings that are three or four times the price. Now, I'm not saying this guitar is as good as those, but this guitar is more than capable of fulfilling the role as your primary 12 string, as long as you're not in a Birds or Tom Petty tribute band, of course. The intonation is good, it stays in tune well, and it's all around fun to play. One thing I like about the Thin Line is that in my opinion, it makes the guitar a little more versatile. I think that's an important point because I know most guitar players only buy one 12 string to cover all of their 12 string needs. And that usually means using it for both acoustic and electric riffs. All right, with that, let's take this baby for a test drive now. I'm gonna play through a bunch of acoustic and electric 12 string riffs. I hope you enjoy it.
If you've made it this far in the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. A small gesture on your part makes a big difference on my end, and I sincerely appreciate it. Is this guitar worth the extra hundred or so dollars? I think so. The guitar just feels like a higher quality instrument. If you're in the market for a 12 string that's easy to play, is a step up from an entry level model, and won't break the bank, I think this guitar more than fits the bill. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and leave me a comment. Don't forget to check out The Rock Lock at therocklock.com, and don't forget to enter this month's Van Gogh 12 string guitar giveaway. Details for both are in the description. Most importantly, have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.